Hey ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. 2020 Toyota Corolla SC jack points. Uh, we need to lift up the front of the car. And one of the things we need to do safely is chalk the wheel. I do things the unconventional way. And right now this is a demonstration. So I'm not going to do it 100% and it may not be to your liking, but please. I uh, check other videos out and uh, you decide which is the best one for you. I have already put a piece of wood in the front to chalk the wheel. So when I lift up the front of the car, I will put a chalk over here in the rear. So when I do the rear of the car, the chalk is on the front of the wheel over here. And let me show you that piece of wood I'm using. When you lift the car up, you can see how it's nice and jammed in there. And that's the momentum of the weight of the car. When using the scissor jack, it is important to chalk your wheel. Put your emergency brake on so the scissor jack doesn't fall. Underneath the car, you can see where the floor jack is at. Right here, there is this uh, triangular upside down piece with three holes dead center. That is where you put your floor jack and you start to lift. Even your scissor jack goes on to the side as an emergency. Start to situate it and start to slowly lift. Some people use a piece of wood so it protects against metal. So I'm going to lift up. But also take note of the exhaust pipe nice and low and near the center. Over here where the cosmetics of the lower spoiler skirt, right here between these two fingers, right over here, there's a plastic shield. You can hear it. And there is a little cap cover. And there is an arrow pointing down right here. That's where your jack is going to go, right over here or you can probably go over here and I'm going to probably show you that rather than lift the back up because I'm only demonstrating one jack at this given time. If you look a little further into the car on the A-frame and that's where I'm going all the way over here rather than over here. The one thing I want to tell you be a little safe when doing this in a city street as an emergency. This is a three ton jack for an SUV. The only thing I got because I owned an SUV. The jack would be a little lower for a car like this. So use the appropriate jack and not the jacks you have. Like I said, I do things the unconventional way. I continue to lift and I lift safely. I'm going to hear somebody say, well, what do you do when you lift on the side of the car? How are you supposed to uh, chalk the wheel? Well, chalk the passenger side wheel. That's the most important because the whole car is going up the two rears and the front driver. I should be high enough to slide this under. I should lift the yellow, get to the height I need. Put it about to where that up arrow is at. You can see where the up arrow is at and how the jack is situated for the rear jack point. Can you place the jack stand where the hydraulic floor jack is at? I'm most sure you can. Also take note, my jack stand is old, it's slipping real slow. My jack is locking into place. As I lower the car down, the jack stand is going to dig into the tar. You heard it slip, that's okay. I'm going to leave my jack stand and my floor jack as is for safety purposes. 
This has a little less pressure, so the weight is more on the jack than the floor jack. I'm now able to work on my rear safely. The one thing I like to do is give a little shake. Have my wheels straight. And I can start to work on my car. Just to give you a bird's eye view or undercarriage view, you could probably put the jack stand somewhere on the lower arm, which I won't do. Or over here on this particular arm, which I may want to do, but I don't think so. There is no other spot to put your jack stand. On the older car, it used to be over here, a little triangular point that I pointed out to you over there. That used to be over here, and let me show you that. This is a 2010. This little hole is there for a reason. There's a little cap you could put on here that you could raise your scissor jack or put your jack stand. You also got a nice long A-frame that you could put the jack stand, a cross carriage or whatever, where your sway bar is at. Let's show you where the front jack stand points are at. In reverse order, lift. Time to get a new floor jack, see if the oil's in there. Drop, slide out, everything's safe to lower. Don't lower that fast, nice and slow. Pull out the jack. To remove the chalk, you may have to move the car. Put the chalk to the rear. We're going to look for the floor jack position on that A bar. Over here is going to be where your jack stand's going to go in this particular area of the lower skirt about four inches or a hand's length away. So let's slide the jack under and start to lift this side up. So as I slide under, I look, align, and lift. Don't be afraid that the car's moving. That's what the floor jack is supposed to do. Get it high enough that you can get the jack under. Over here, and I'll bring the camera nice and close for you so you can see where I'm putting the jack stand. Quietly over to the position. I make sure the handle's on the outside and I start to lift. It doesn't go up to the next click. So I am going to slowly lower this on. I want to make sure the bottom nipple, the outer curve, matches up. Take note how it sits in there. Everything starts to settle down. The jack is released off of the car with minimal pressure. Over here, this is a carriage bolt, cross frame aluminum. I would trust this. This is metal, maybe over there, I don't know. I'd rather put it where I got it right over here safe secure I can put it on here it's a little bit more secure than this but you can put it over here because you don't want to put it on this and the reason why I say don't put it on your cabin floor you'll pop this up and a lot of people have done that. So when you want to work underneath your car and work safely, 
now you're able to. There are two bolts over here that you can probably put it on as well, but it's way too far under, but not for the floor jack. Your oil is located over here. This comes down and you do your work. Now I got the room to work on. One jack under safely. Why chuck a wheel if you're lifting from the side? That's in case you do a scissor jack. Simple as lifting up. Simple as lifting, sliding, kicking away to the side, dropping down, and finishing up the job. Clean up after yourself and enjoy what you like doing best in your how-tos and your do-it-yourself, and you'll have a great time changing your oil. Those are the jack points of, thank you, almost hit the camera. Unreal. I do apologize. Uh, those are the safety points of where you jack up your, I find that works for me, that may work for you. I hope this video was helpful. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Do it safely and stay to the side and not worry about the traffic. Worry about the safety of your car. Have a great day and enjoy. I know somebody's going to ask me this question. You don't have to set your emergency brake. Why? It's always in the on position. Once you start the car and once you move it, and once you shut it off, it's always on. Have a great, great day.